Hey guys, I am going to show you some really, really gorgeous, cute things that I have bought from Kath Kidston for the festive period. Now, you guys know that I absolutely love Kath Kidston. Like, I can't get enough, like, normally, in general. So, when she goes all festive, when she... When Kath Kidston, the store, goes all festive, I can't resist it. So I've been looking online, like eagerly awaiting their Christmas stuff and I was very happy with what I found. So, I'm going to show you what I have picked up. Now, some of these are secrets for, secret presents for my mum and dad. So, I don't want them to hear what I'm saying. Um, I'm going to leave those till last and I'm going to speak about everything else just now. So, first of all, I'll show you these. These are decorations which I found on the Kath Kidston web website and they're so cute. They're little crocheted San Santa Claus, um, a crocheted snowman and a little robin which I just think are so adorable. Um, I've not got these hung up yet. I need to find a place to put them, probably on the tree, I think, um, because they don't really go with my room decor. I did try hang hanging them up in here, but it didn't really work. So I just think these are just adorable. I love them. Um, so I bought those, and then, oh, right, yes, I could not resist their Christmas mugs. I just could not resist. So... I bought some of their Christmas mugs last year, some of the Kath Kidston Christmas mugs, and I absolutely love them. So I got this one, which I think is called the Dit the Ditsy mug, because it's a Ditsy print that's on it, and it's got like Santas and reindeer and trees, Christmas trees and presents, and it's just so cute. I'm trying to show you a little bit closer. It is really just adorable, and I've been loving drinking my tea out of this during the cold mornings so that one is just brill and then I also picked up this one which is their Christmas market print and it's just really really bright and colourful and just cute I mean kids would love this kids would absolutely love this it's just so festive and cute um so I yeah this is just I was just like it's red and multicoloured and I have to get it it's so cute um, and then I couldn't resist. <laughs> I had to buy the glass version as well. Um, and just thought I need to have that. I mean, wouldn't I wrote a post on this? And wouldn't this be like the most adorable, like, glass tumbler for you to like leave out with your kids, um, for Santa, um, with a mince pie and like fill this with milk. It would be so cute. Just like sat on your fireplace with like a little mince pie and a carrot for a Rudolph um, I just think it would be adorable um, I would have loved it when I was a kid as well so then I decided I would go a little bit mental buying tea towels I don't know why but I have bought them and um, <laughs> I presented them to my mum and she was like yeah those kind of don't really like absorb stuff so yeah I'm not sure what's going to happen with these. Um, I think we're going to wash these two. Oh, my daughter taking them off. Um, I mean, she's seen these, but she hasn't seen the other thing. So, I'm going to keep these two clean. Um, again, these are in the most adorable print. This is, like, the market scene. I mean, it's just so pretty. It's such pretty colours. If I was a kid, I would have loved this. I mean, I love it as an adult, but as a kid, seriously, I would love this. Um, and then again you get it in this print which is I think it's called like festive sprig or something it's just a really nice red pink and green floral print Um, I also could not resist this so I bought it and I'm thinking I might keep this as decoration for when I move out and have my own house I will show you what it looks like just now I feel like it's more like a poster than a tea towel and it says Merry Christmas on it which is just cute 
it's got big trees and a helter skelter with Santa coming down it and I just think it's lovely so I think I'll maybe keep that just to like hang in the house at Christmas when I get a house don't know where I'll put it I don't want to give away the baby I'm hoping she's got the red one Okay, so those are the tea towels, which may be useless, but they're so cute though. Let's, I, in future, I probably won't buy tea towels. I've learned my lesson. Um, so then I decided that I would surprise my family with some new oven gloves for Christmas. And I got these. My mom's like, do we have to use them just for Christmas or can we use them all year round? I was like, we should use them all year round because we need new oven gloves anyway. So, um... But I love this print, it's just so nice and colourful and cute. Sorry, I keep coming like this because I want to whisper. I don't want her to hear me. I could just go like this. Maybe not. Um, but I mean, adorable, adorable, adorable. How adorable are these? Like, seriously, it's so adorable. Um, I, oh, <laughs> I really did go a bit overboard, but I don't care. I'll probably keep these for a long time um, because I just think they're so cute. And me and Mum had been wanting a Christmas apron from Kath Kingston last year, but we missed the boat, unfortunately. But this year I was like on the ball. I was straight on it. As soon as they came out, I was like, right, I'm getting those. So I bought this one, which I think my mum's going to have. And it is, oh, it's folded up. Hang on. It's this Christmas, what, what would they say? Festive sprig? Christmas sprig, some kind of sprig um, pattern <laughs> and I mean that looks really festive with like the little bit of lace on the pocket um, and it's red but you could also wear this all year round so I think my mum's going to have this one Um, I think she preferred it over this one which is going to be mine once I unfold it uh, yeah this one's going to be mine and it is this print again like I can <laughs> clearly can't get enough of this it's just so cute. I love it. It's so, so cute. Just like that. Um, oh, I just think it's adorable. I kind of feel like I'm just like, like kid me. It's just like, yes, I must have this. He's going to have it. So yes, it is mine now. Um, so my house is going to be very, very festive Kath Kingston this Christmas. Now, I'm going to show you the surprises. Here, there. Then she can just go in there. So, wait a minute. Um, maybe I could just show you them in a whisper and not really describe what they're called because I think she's just going through the house. Okay, I'll just explain this bit. Um, basically, when I was a kid, I always had like we had like such happy Christmases, and. Um, I just felt really grateful for that, just to be with my family and, you know, just had so much fun with my family and we had lots of tasty food and I just loved spending time with everyone together, with my grandparents um, and my auntie and my cousins and stuff. So, um, especially with my mum and dad, we've always had Christmas in our own house, like, for my entire life and I just love it. So... I wanted to give them back a bit of the like magicalness that they gave me as a kid. Like I'm not saying that my Christmases were extravagant because I don't think they were, but they were just lovely. So I'm like so grateful for that. She's still in the room next door. Um <laughs> I can hear her. So I wanted to give them back just like a little bit of excitement and like magic since they made like mine so exciting and magical. Um, for as long as I believed in Santa, obviously. But even after that, I loved Christmas always. Um, just because then it was just so nice. Like, everyone was happy. No one was, like, drunk or falling out. I think that's what I'm trying trying to get at. Like, it was just really a nice time. Um, and so, I saw these. And I had wanted them for myself. But I thought, no, you can't have those for yourself. Do something nice for someone else. So I have. I just want to get something to show you and then I promise I'll stop rambling even though she's still going to be there. Last year I got this stocking which is like so cool. Um, No actually it wasn't last year it was the year before so I've had this two years because I didn't really have anything like this and I thought 
come on, you're an adult, so what? Let's like Christmas things up a bit. Um, and I just think it's so cute. So the last two years I've been putting some presents for myself in this stocking. And um, I just thought it was really fun. So I decided to get uh, one and one So this one I have bought for my niece and nephew. I've just got them just waiting for me. Yes, right, she's gone. So I've got this stocking for my mum. Finally, I can actually get to the point. And um, I've got this stocking for my mum, which is this print again. It's so cute. Look at the little polka dots at the top. It's the same pattern on the back. And I just think it's so cute. So I'm going to put all her presents in this. And on Christmas Day, I'm going to come through and be like, Ta-da! Like, look, I got you! <laughs> um, so I think my mum and dad will think it's quite fun. Um, I hope. If they don't want them, I'll have them. I mean, but I don't know what I'm going to do. Just keep filling stockings for myself. I don't know. I don't know. I just really wanted to do something really fun. And, like, bring back some like ch child like excitement because I just yeah but I just wanted it to be lovely and cute um so for my dad I bought this Santa sack which is this print um it's quite big this actually it's not getting that many presents um and on the back it's got this print again and I just think these are so cute. Now I don't know if my dad will want this but I just think it'll be really cute to be like look it's for you because they didn't have anything as nice as this when they were kids um, and it didn't exist when they were kids because it barely existed when I was a kid. So anyway I thought I should re it'll just be fun so we'll see what they say on Christmas day when I come through with those um, because I'm really excited about these so I think I'm probably more excited than what they will be what how they will react when they actually get them they'll be like oh, okay we'll see I'll let you know I hope that they think it's a really cute idea because I like it my dad will probably my dad's too macho he'll probably be like oh yeah ho, ho, ho. Um, not in a nasty way he'll just probably think I've lost the plot because I probably have so the last surprise I've got my mum this but I've also got me this so I've wrapped my mum's one up but I can show you mine Um, these appeared on the Kath Kinston website and I was like I must get that and I'll get my mum one how cute is that it's like Santa Claus's head but it's a mug and they come with like little sweeties in them I think these ones are teary drops and the ones that I got for my I think they were bonbons or something um, but yeah, I love this. It's so, so cool. And I thought, if she doesn't want it, then I will keep it as a spare in case this one gets smashed. I'm sure she'll like it. I think she'll think it's cute. I just think that's adorable. Is that not such a nice present to get someone? I'd love if someone got me this. Kath Kidston, Santa Claus face. Oh yeah. Anyway, huh. that is my entire Kath Kidston Christmas haul, which I have to add, I didn't do all at one time. I like spread it out over like six weeks or something ridiculous like that and I just kept thinking no I really need those those tea towels I need to get those tea towels yeah they'll probably be useless oh well never mind they're for decorative purposes I'm going to tell myself but um, I'm really excited and I just find that the cuteness of Kath Kids and stuff just makes me feel so festive and like feel like it's the little things in life that really like brighten up my day so using like this mug just makes me so happy <laughs> um and yeah I think it's going to be great fun at Christmas so huh, I hope you enjoyed that haul I know it was a bit quite long um and I know I do ramble on about Kath Kidston a lot but I just really like her stuff I think I saw somebody tweeting that they didn't like Kath Kidston and all bloggers go on about Kath Kidston and I felt like a bit like, well, I mean, they're entitled to their own opinion, but I really like Kath Kidston and I'm not going to shut up about that fact, I don't think. So, let me know. Do you like Kath Kidston as well? Do you like her Chris the cr <coughs> Oh gosh. See, that's what happens when you try and whisper and do things secretly. <clears throat>
do you like the Christmas range that they've brought out this year? What was your favourite item? Um, what are you thinking of getting the family for Christmas? Are you going to surprise them with anything? Let me know. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, I'd love if you guys would subscribe to my channel as well. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!